Hey guys, I'm doing my two week update of waist training wearing my Alt Noir corset. And if you haven't seen the first video two weeks ago that kind of explained what waist training is and how to lace up your corset and everything like that, then I will link it here so you can check it out. Um, so definitely watch that first if you want a little bit more information about it. But now this is my two week update. So my plan was to wear it for about eight hours every day. Um, that didn't exactly happen. It's not that it's not comfortable. Um, obviously you notice you're wearing something that's sucking you in or squeezing you a little bit, but you can vary how tight you actually tie it. So yeah, you can just adjust it to what feels comfortable. Um, the main thing for me is that mixed with the summer weather, and although today it's actually not sunny or hot, but the past two weeks have actually been quite warm, especially for here where I live. Um, and okay, just putting on the corset, that's already kind of a challenge because you're really pulling as hard as you can to get those, um, like to get it laced up tightly. Already that breaks me out in a sweat. And then just wearing it because it is, you know, steel ribbed, steel boned. It's not just, you know, the cheap plastic one, it's steel bone and the fabric is nice and thick. So it is effective. So it actually cinches in your waist and it holds your shape. Um, but because of that, because of the steel boning and the heavy fabric that makes it work, it is also really hot for me. Now, I think I sweat a little bit more than the average person anyways. I don't know why. I just, if I'm sitting even inside and it's a really hot day, I'm just sweating, even if I'm just in like shorts and a t-shirt. So then add the corset and yeah. It's, it was just, I just was sweating so much. So I did not wear it for eight hours. Um, I did not wear it at all when I went out. Well, I think I wore it once and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm so hot. I'm like, I look good, but I'm really hot. Uh, and temperature wise. Um, so I had to never wear it when I went to work or even when I ran errands because, you know, in the car or if you're in the store, then it's nice and cool. But even just walking to and from, it just got, really hot. Um, and then at work, I didn't wear it because I work with animals and although you can bend down with it, it looks, I don't know, it just looks a bit funny because then, yeah, if you're like bending down, petting a dog, and then I'm just like this instead of like, cause I can't, you can't hunch forward, which is good for your posture. Um, but when you're, you know, like making a fuss over animals that have been brought to the vet, um, you, you look a little funny if you're like, I have to keep my back straight. Uh, anyway, so I didn't wear it to work either. Um, and then I, my plan was to wear it overnight, but honestly, and I don't know what's wrong with me, but I found that even if I loosened it, um, I loosened it, but still it was tight enough to be effective. I found that, okay, you know how at the bottom of your rib cage you have those two bones? And I mean, mine don't stick out at all. I have a nice solid layer of fat over top of it. But somehow when I was sleeping, I guess, you know, I kind of redistribute it like those or the steel boning of the corset where it was really jabbing into those bones. And again, it made it uncomfortable to sleep. I think perhaps I'd get used to it, but I like lay there for about, I don't know, half an hour, like turning and then I'm like, okay, stay on my back. And I was like, no, I can't get to sleep on my back. And then going on my side and it just, it really hurts. So then I had to take it off. So now I haven't slept with it again. Um, but my main thing that I have been wearing it is just, if it's not that hot a day, um, then I'll wear it for, you know, three to five hours um, when I'm just at home relaxing or something. Um, and also another tip is that to put it on, I have to put it on in front of a fan, um, like blasting at me. Otherwise, it, yeah, I just work up way too much of a sweat putting it on. And then that's not fun. And then you just don't even want to want to feel like wearing it. But yeah, and so that's what has worked for me. Um, so that's how I have been wearing it. Now, have I seen any results? I have not. Um, however, only wearing it, you know, three to five hours a day. And honestly, it wasn't even every day. Sometimes if I had, you know, like a nine hour shift at work and then I came home, had dinner, and then I was gonna go for a run later and then had a shower and went to bed. So I didn't wear it at all those days. Um, so yeah, um, I haven't noticed any difference. I'm re-measured myself. Um, 
I yeah my waist is exactly the same but only two weeks I mean I didn't really expect a change I hoped but I didn't expect one especially because I'm only wearing it a couple hours a day if I were wearing it it'd be like 23 hours a day then by three weeks or two weeks I would have hoped to see a change but you know, I haven't. And I talked to one of the representatives of the Alt Noir company and I asked, you know, from your experience or from, you know, people who buy them, what have you heard that is still an effective, you know, amount of time to wear it? And she was saying, you know, she has heard that people who have worn it as little as three hours a day, but three hours a day consistently, have seen a difference and have noticed a smaller waist, um, but usually it's in about one to two months. So I still have to keep on wearing it. Um, and I mean, that's the thing with everything when you're trying to either lose weight or change, you know, the shape of your body. It's just, you have to be consistent. Um, you have to keep wearing it. Um, and so after my first video aired, a lot of you guys started either commenting or messaging me just your personal stories and they have been so inspiring. I love hearing it. Um, now with me, I have just slightly over a 34 inch waist. I kind of went from 34, 34 and a half, 35. And so I got a 30 inch corset. So it, ideally my waist should be go down to 30 inches. But yeah, I've had some people tell me that, you know, they started at a 29 inch, which is already super skinny, so jealous. But anyway, it started 29 inch, and then now just after you know wearing the corset, not changing anything else into their like diet or their routine, just still you know eating healthy and working out, but not doing any additional things, they are now down to like 23 or 24 inches. So wow. So anyways, if you guys have any stories about that, still keep them coming, send them to me, because yeah, it's really inspiring to hear about them. Um, so I will show you what it looks like. I do have it on. So wearing this top today, I mean, look at my nice skinny midsection. Um, if you're wondering if these, this shirt is actually supposed to be worn with a belt, but I didn't wear it with a belt so you can actually see. I am able to now completely tie it up um, before I wasn't able to, so now, yay! That just took a little bit of time. Now, the thing is, you can either, if I just tighten it myself, I honestly can't get it that tight. I mean, I get as tight as I can. However, this time I got Chad to help me with it, but you have to watch out, because if you do tighten it too tight, yes, it makes this look good. If you look at my back, you can kind of see my back or my like shoulder back fat, upper back fat. It kind of hangs over the top. See like that, which is not attractive at all. Like that is almost worse, I'd say, than for me, in my opinion. It's worse, you know, wearing and like looking super good up here. And then if I turn around or turn to the side, people see all this like fat. Then it totally looks like I'm wearing either a too tight bra or a too tight something. So usually I do not wear it this tight. Um, but yeah, I'll kind of wear it almost this tight, but just like, I just cannot tighten it this tight on my own. Um, but again, you know, it makes my body look really great. Um, look at this. I like, yeah, I totally wish I looked like this in real life. I put my arms down and you can actually see like that the waist goes in. Usually you cannot. <laughs> and again, it definitely lifts your bust. Um, yeah, totally. I have such a nice and big bust. So going forward, I still will continue to wear it. Again, probably just how I am now. I think, I almost think this would, for me personally, it would be better in the kind of fall, winter, where I don't mind if I have an extra layer on. It'll just feel like a nice warm hug and it'll be good to have that extra layer. For the summer, it's kind of tricky. Um, I know some people wear them all the time and a lot of people are wearing them during the summer. Um, I don't know, I just, I sweat a lot and it never used to get that hot in my city, but now we've been having more heat spells, so I'm just not used to it. Um, I don't know. And I think definitely if I, like my birthday's coming up in two weeks or so, so definitely I will be wearing this underneath what I decide to wear for my birthday, probably a dress or something when I go out for birthday dinner, um, because it'll make my shape look amazing. But aside from that, I'll probably just wear it when I am around the house. So that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed hearing about my kind of two week experience so far of wearing the Alt Noir corset for waist training and Thank you so much for bringing it to my attention that in my last video I was calling it corset. I don't know, my whole life I just have been thinking of it as a corset, but it's a corset, so I got it right this time. 
Um, but yeah, so keep any stories or anything you have heard about waist training or your personal experiences, keep them coming. Please comment or send them to me or email me. I just really enjoy hearing it and definitely it makes me want to wear it even more when I hear about all of your success stories from, you know, actual people, actual people who almost feel like my friends. Um, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.